So day seven's over with. I have the men's heavyweight and talk about an exciting division. We have Teddy Reiner dropping in the quarters to the Russians. I don't know if you guys watched it, but I, I almost jumped up out of my seat going, they gotta score it. He used his hands, he pushed them over. Um, super impressive. Um, so I was a little off there in the pick, but man, let's take a look at this right here. I'm super pumped right here. Look at that, look at that. All the way through the bracket. I'm super pumped. Super pumped for this guy, man. I'm so happy he was able to pull it out at the end, right? We have Lucas Kripalik of the Czech Republic pulling it out. You know, in Rio, he was the 100 kilo Olympic champion. Here in Tokyo, he's the heavyweight Olympic champion. I'm so excited for that guy, I can't say it enough. But let's take a look at some of the other draws. We had him, again, Japan here. Um, you know what, this guy, he just doesn't compete enough. You know, at the end of the day, he doesn't step on the mat and compete. Um, so when I'm looking at this semifinal, I go Lucas Kropolik is experienced, he has Nawaza, he has gripping, he can take on the Japanese even though he's on home soil. So, you know, I just, that's my reasoning for that one. We had Ukraine here, uh, we had Russia winning here, or Romania, I'm sorry. Um, the German we had down here who actually lost. I actually think that this was a big upset here. Um, kind of kind of wrote this guy off here. Um, I'm still not sure where he's from. I've looked it up on judo base. I couldn't figure it out. Um, but a strong judo player, nonetheless. Like He gripped, he fought hard, he tried hard. He was able to take on the German. So, you know, if you could go back and watch that, that's a match to, to watch just to see the aggression, the gripping, and the mentality that you really need when you're up and coming, trying to take on the world's best. Um, I think one of the biggest upsets of this whole matchup, right, is the Mongolian guy down here who actually I had picked to lose. Let me go back to this color. This Mongolian guy in this matchup, first exchange, drop Sode, double sleeves, rolls out first 25 seconds of the match. I couldn't believe it. I, f I feel so bad for, for him and just everything he went through, going the extra quad, waiting it out through COVID, training the entire time to step on the mat at the Olympic Games and be out in the first 25 seconds on a, I like probably the biggest mistake of his career, right? Cause it's, you know, he's at a point now where I don't think he could go another quad. Let's take a look up here at the top though, right? We have the Georgian coming through, right? Well, um, I just, the Brazilian's just too big. He's not, he's not active enough. He's a big guy, he's hard to throw, but at the end of the day, um, he just, he has no offense except for his size. He barely made it out of the round with the Azerbaijani because the Azerbaijani just came in trying to throw him and they weren't given the Brazilian the third Shido and eventually the Brazilian just fell forward. Azerbaijani tripped over his leg. He ended up scoring Epon, but you know, it wasn't much of anything when you really look at like the actual technique behind it. Um, yeah, the Tajikistan guy, again, really strong judo player, just in the wrong part of the draw. You know, it is what it is. So let's take a look over here. Uh, man, just so excited for this guy. So excited, that's all I care about. Um, right here, so just some of the numbers from the division. We had 25 matches, six of them went to golden score, 11 went to two Shidos, and only in one instant did both players score. But I think the big thing here is, in the heavyweight bracket, we're seeing low golden score numbers, which affect the overall um, numbers for the tournament, which we'll take a look at in another video. Um, but exciting judo, nonetheless, like these, the heavyweights came to throw down. They were trying to score, they were trying to pin each other. Uh, it was actually probably one of the more exciting divisions to watch uh, when you look at watching the Olympic Games. But I'm excited for the team tournament. And for right now, I'm thinking, I haven't seen the draw yet, but I'm thinking France, Japan, final, hopefully. And I think I have France eking it out at the end.